Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue learning how to add real numbers. And so before we get started, I want to just really, really quickly write the rules down that we will be using. Okay, basically, if you add a positive number to another positive number, that's what I mean when I say that, you're always going to get a positive number. And this is, this is stuff you've learned from third grade. 3 plus 7 is, you know, is equal to 10, for instance. All right? Now, if you uh, have a negative number and you're adding to it another negative number, you always, always, always get a negative number. So you, you do need to remember these uh, rules, and that's why I'm writing them down. So we'll kind of outline this as an important rule. We'll outline this as an important rule. Now, if you're adding a positive number to a negative number, or if you're adding negative number to a positive number, so if they're mixed signs, then basically in either case, the answer could be positive or negative. And you have to, uh, you have to figure that out for yourself as you, as you solve the problem. So the answer could be positive or negative. And basically the sign of the answer is going to, to take the same sign as whichever has the larger absolute value of the two signs that you start out with. And you're going to end up subtracting the, the, the numbers there as we've done in the last section. So let me circle that guy. So really simple. You need to end up memorizing these. We're going to do them. We're going to memorize them as we solve a lot of problems. So bottom line, add two positives. You always get a positive back. You add two negatives together. You always get a negative back. If you have mixed signs that you're adding together, then you can get an either positive or negative. It's going to depend on the, the size of the numbers you're adding. All right, so enough talking. Let's just get some more practice. Uh, what if you have 7 plus 10? I know you're laughing because this is such a simple problem, but we're using these rules. 7 plus 10. So it's positive plus positive. The answer will always be positive, and you just add those guys together. Uh, so you get 17, and you see the answer is positive, just like we've always said. All right, what if we have the problem negative 7 plus 6? What do we get in this case? Negative 7 plus 6. All right, so in this case we have mixed sign. You see we have a negative and we're adding to it a positive number. So what we end up doing when we have mixed signs like this is we have to subtract these numbers. Uh, we ignore the sign and we just subtract the bigger number minus the smaller number. So the number that you're going to get is 1. And then you have to, to choose the sign. It's either going to be negative or positive. The sign of the answer is always going to favor the sign of the larger absolute value. Negative 7 has a larger absolute value, so the answer is going to be negative. So Again, when you have mixed signs, you subtract the numbers, ignoring signs, okay? And then it takes the sign of the basically the larger absolute value. So you get negative 1 for that answer. What if you have uh, 15 uh, plus negative 7? 15 plus negative 7. So again, you have mixed signs we're adding together. So the first thing we know is we have to subtract. When you have mixed guys that you're adding together, 15, you have to subtract minus 7. You ignore the, the negative sign for a minute. 15 minus 7 um, is going to give you 8. So you go ahead and write down the number, and now you have to pick the sign. So you look at the two numbers here. Well, positive 15 has a bigger absolute value than the negative 7. Um, so basically it takes the sign of the larger number, and so the answer is going to be positive 8. And when you look at this, 15 plus a negative 7 is really the same thing as 15 minus 7. Now, the easiest way to continue getting practice with this is just to keep doing problems. So what if we have um, negative 8 plus negative 21? So now we're here we're adding two negatives together, uh, which falls into this category. If you add two negatives together, you always get a negative number, and you just simply add the absolute values together, because if you take a negative number and you add more negative to it, then the answer is going to be more deeply negative. So 8 plus 21 is going to be... Uh, 29, and the answer will be negative. So the sign will always be negative when you add those two guys together. All right, so for our next problem, we're going to have uh, something interesting. Negative 9 plus negative 9. Notice we have two negative numbers we're adding together. So we start off with a negative number, and we're adding to it even more negative numbers. So we owe money, and then we're basically adding more debt. So the answer we get is still going to be negative. And then you add the numbers. 9 plus 9 is going to give you 18, and that's the answer. So it's like you owe $9, and then you borrow 9 more. How much do you owe at the end of the day is $18. All right. Now let's go over here to the middle and continue on. Let's say we have negative uh, 9 plus 5. So here we're adding a negative plus a positive. Anytime you're adding mixed signs, you just subtract the numbers. 9 minus 5 is going to give you 4. Now we have to pick 
uh, which of these guys is going to give it the sign? The negative 9 has the bigger absolute value, so the answer is going to be negative 4. And that's the final answer there. Uh, what if we have negative 17 plus 20? Again, we're adding a negative and a positive, so you just subtract the numbers. The larger number minus the smaller number, ignoring any sign. So 20 minus 17 is 3, and then we have to figure out the sign of the answer. Um, the positive 20 has the bigger absolute value than the negative 17, so it'll be positive 3. All right, and then we have 15 uh, plus 15. This is just a regular addition problem. Adding two positive numbers, so the answer will be positive, and we add 15 plus 15, and we'll get positive 30, and that's the final answer there. Uh, and then we have, interestingly, let's say negative 15 um, plus a negative 15. What are you going to get there? We're adding a negative plus another negative number, so we're up in this category over here, so we're going to get a negative answer, and then we add the, the numbers together. 15 plus 15 is 30. So this would be like if you start out $15 in debt uh, here at the beginning of the year and you borrow 15 more dollars, then you're $30 in debt um, you know, at the end of the day. Um, and then we'll do another, just a variation, negative 15 plus positive 15. So we're doing a lot of work with 15, the number 15 here. So we're adding mixed signs, so we subtract them. 15 minus 15 is 0. And then you look and see which one has the bigger absolute value. But in this case, you have positive 15, you have negative 15. Neither one of these really has the larger absolute value, so you don't really put a sign on the answer. And it turns out that the number 0 is neither positive nor negative. It's right in the middle, so uh, you just leave it uh, blank there. It's, and it's implied that you know that 0 is positive or negative. So you see how we have these different categories here with 15 plus 15, negative 15 plus negative 15, and negative 15 plus positive 15, you get totally different answers in either case, uh, just depending on the signs. So you really have to be careful when doing, you know, when adding numbers like this to make sure that you're getting the right signs, or the, the, applying the right rules. All right, we just have a couple of quick additional problems. What if we have 125 plus negative 50? So again, you're adding mixed signs, so you always subtract the numbers. What's 125 minus 50? Uh, that's going to be 75, and then you look and see what sign is it going to take. This is positive 125. This is negative 50. It's going to take the sign of the larger absolute value, which means positive 75. And then our final, an uh, final problem will be 80 uh, plus a negative 90. So again, we're adding mixed signs. 80 plus negative 90 is mixed, so we just subtract the numbers. You go from the bigger, ignoring any sign, the bigger minus the smaller. So 90 minus 80 is going to give you a 10. And then we figure out what sign is it going to take. What do you think? This is positive. This is negative. This is the larger absolute value, so the answer is going to be negative 10. And that's the final answer. So we're just working our way through some problems here, trying to get additional practice. Um, and we're going to get some more practice in the next section. So for now, make sure you can solve all of these problems. Make sure you understand these rules. They're going to become ingrained in your head as you get more and more practice. So follow me on to the next section where we will continue getting practice with adding real numbers in algebra.